Hi everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. Today, it's soybean fungicide timing. We talked about corn last week, now it's soybeans turn. So, when you spray fungicide in soybeans, well, it's a little different than in corn. The age old timing is R3. That's one 3 inch pod on one of the top four nodes. And that's all good and well. But the problem is, on soybeans, since it's the top four nodes, a new leaf opens up on the top, well now we might move up, on the plant and now we go back to R2. So it's not just a linear stage, you only move forward from here. Sean Castillo at Purdue has a great article out right now. His recommendation is R4, which is a three quarter inch pod on one of those top four nodes. I'm fine with that too. But more importantly, in our part of the world, our experience has shown us, it's not just developmental stage, R stage, but it's also plant stage. How big is the plant? So big picture, I'm gonna stand up here for a second. You can see here, these plants are about mid-thigh. We're getting some good height in this field. Planted May 13th. So the mid-May planted beans are getting some good height on them here. Diseases. We gotta scout first to make sure we got disease out there. So I got some uh, some frog eye on here. I've got some uh, some brown spot on some other ones here. So we're starting to get that disease building in here. So number one, it checks the first box. Yes, there's disease pre there's disease present in the field. Let's consider spraying fungicide. So in our experience, we want 15 nodes on that plant plus R3. So, how do we figure that out? You pull up a plant and go to the bottom here. So we have two leaf scars right here. This was the cotyledons. So we count that as number one. Next, see this pair of, of, of leaves, come, or, or branches actually come out right here. That was the first two leaves that turned into branches. So that's number two. From there, it should be opposite sides. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and see how the, that top one right there? If those leaves were not touching, we would count that one. Since they're still touching together, you don't count it yet. So this is 14 nodes on this plant. So now, what our stage are we? Let's count backwards here. Let's go down four. One, two, three, four. Do you see any pods at that node? I do not, that's all flowers. So this would be 14 nodes and R2. It's very possible. So we put on a new leaf stage roughly every three to five days. So it's possible by the, by the weekend here, this one's opened up and we'd be at 15 nodes. Also, we would have to find that, that pod up there. Now this year, pod development's been on the slower side. And this is a great example of it here. You know why? Because some of those early flowers, we kind of gave up on flowers and instead put on branches. This plant has seven side branches on it here, which can all be loaded down with pods. So I think potential's there. Managing our soybeans for yield potential is out there. You know what I'd love to see? Let's come back in here, right here. Look at this. I've got eight different flowers at this node right here. Do you know what feeds those eight flowers, keeps them alive? This leaf right here that's, that's, that's on the top there. This gives us 80% of the energy that's gonna feed the flowers at that node. So we got some insect feeding on here. I don't like seeing that because if we start losing leaf area, we can't capture as much energy photosynthesis can't push, push as much energy back down there to keep those flowers and pods alive. So if I was timing this field right here, I'm not ready to spray yet. Maybe by the weekend we'd be ready to, but I'm looking not just for flowers, I'm looking for pods and, our, and 15 nodes. So 15 nodes plus R3 is our recommendation. There's a lot of yield potential out here in these beans. So I think there's a good reason to keep managing these beans. Fungicides always look for a good mixed mode of action. Fungicide, one that's going to give you a strobilurin plus a triazole, a protectant plus a curative. Um, and there's some out there as well that have a third mode of action thrown in there as well, can't hurt anything. Um, but know what you're going against. There's some great charts out there from universities that tell you what are the better fungicides to use. Look at those. I think those are great resources to go off of. Uh, but bottom line, guys, there's potential in these beans. If you haven't been out in your fields yet, go out there and take a look, peel them back. I bet you're gonna find lots of flowers on this main stem. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, let us know.